What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the Mets on the MLB Network's Top 100 players, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. If you enjoy all my videos, want to see more, want to get notifications when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So the Mets on MLB Network's Top 100 Players, there was a total of seven players on the current Mets roster in MLB Network's Top 100 Players. We're going to get started by going from the lowest to the top-ranked Met in the Top 100. This is exciting news for a Met fan. And there's two reasons. The first reason is that six out of the seven of these top players in, in the Mets roster in the top 100 in the Major League Baseball, according to MLB Network, are homegrown players. And one player the Mets just acquired. We're going to go over that just now. But to start with the lowest ranked Met in the top 100 players, according to MLB Network, is none other than Brandon Nimmo. He was ranked number 89th in the top 100 players. You know, I'm excited to see Nimmo on this list. Now, this doesn't rank, obviously, by position. But Brandon Nemo is a quality, solid player. Defensively, he can be a little rough when it comes to center field. But if you put him in a corner outfield, he, he, he's a very solid center fielder. Offensively, he's a big on-base percentage guy. And he is just a good quality hitter, especially in the top of the lineup. And it's very nice to see Smiles on the top 100, MLB Network's top 100. I like that. It's very nice to see uh, Brandon Nimmo get recognition. So Brandon Nimmo is ranked 89th in the MLB Network's top 100 players. The second guy on MLB Network's top 100 plays is none other than Dominic Smith, the first baseman slash left field on the New York Mets is ranked 67th. On MLB Network's Top 100. This is another exciting thing to see. Especially with Dominic Smith. Especially when he first came up with the Mets. He struggled. Wasn't getting enough playing time. It seemed like he was a done deal. When he first came up with the Mets. But then he figured things out. He started to get more playing time. Started to look like the player we all thought he could be. And he was one of the best Mets hitters. In 2020, and even in 2019, when he came back from that injury, hit that game-winning home run against the Braves, the last game of the season, it was nice to see. And Dominic Smith is one of the best hitters in this Mets lineup. So it's very nice to see him getting recognition. You know what? He's actually a player who is versatile. He can play left field okay, but you know what? He's worked on his game his defense in left field. And that is nice to see because that's probably where he's going to play most of the time in the 2021 season. Obviously, he is a great defensive first baseman. And that's another thing why he deserves to be on this list. Not including, even including his bat, which offensively he's very good. And it's nice to see Dominic Smith get some recognition when it comes to MLB Network's top 100. It's great to see. Next on the list, right above Dominic Smith, is the New York Mets first baseman, Pete Alonso, ranked number 66 on MLB Network's top 100 players. Obviously, Pete Alonso became a star very quickly in 2019. Uh, Brody Van Wagenen said what he said he was going to do if Alonso deserved to be on the Mets roster in 2019 on opening day. He would be, and he came through on that. The one thing Brody Van Wagenen did was put Alonzo on this major league roster in 2019. Alonzo had a big year, hit the home run record as a rookie. Great to see. Love it. 
He's a fan favorite. He is one of the face of the franchise, franchise for sure, other than Jacob DeGrom. But Pete Alonso, as an everyday player, is basically the captain of this team. There's no doubt about it. His personality, the way he he brings in the fans with the whole LFGM movement in 2019, it was great to see. Pete Alonso can get better with the glove at first base. That's understandable. But he he with his work ethic, I think he can be a very solid to very good first baseman in the years to come. And offensively, he had a down year in 2020. Power numbers, he, it was okay, but he did struggle average-wise. But Pete Alonso, don't be mistaken, is an all-star. And I believe he's going to show that this year and the years to come. So Pete Alonso is ranked number 66 on MLB Network's top 100 players. Above Alonso is none other than the Mets' second baseman slash third baseman slash left fielder slash right fielder occasionally, Jeff McNeil. Now, we all fell in love as Mets fans with Jeff McNeil. His grit, his hard-nosed pedal to the metal type of guy. Every time when he came up to the plate and he didn't put the ball in play, he either struck out or got an out, he cursed. He got mad. It's the fire and anger that we all love about Jeff McNeil. Hard-nosed player. Really good player, very versatile, can play in many positions well, I might add. And I, I never forget when he played right field in 2019, and it was in Chicago against the White Sox, and he ran into foul territory into that netting and caught that ball. That was one of the best plays I think I've seen in a while. And it was really nice to see. And that just shows that Jeff McNeil can play anywhere. You can put him anywhere and he can play. You know what? He can probably pitch it if you need him to, jokingly aside. But Jeff McNeil, offensively, is just another guy on this Mets team that loves to put the ball in play. Not a high strikeout guy. On base percentage, very good. Jeff McNeil is one of the one of the best contact hitters, not, o- not only on the Mets roster, but in Major League Baseball. And putting him in Nimmo in the top of this Mets lineup is a big thing. And two of those guys in Nimmo and McNeil being in the MLB Network's top 100 is a really nice thing to see, and I love that. Next, above Michael uh, Jeff McNeil is none other than our right fielder, Michael Conforto at 34. Michael Conforto, as you know, came up in 2015 and – when they brought him up, it was a big deal. You know, it looked like the Mets weren't going to bring him up at first in 2015 when the Mets were trying to make that push to a playoffs before, right before we got se- around when we got Cespedes. And as you know, Michael Conforto hit two home runs in the World Series, really played well uh, for, in the, for the Mets in 2015. You know, he had that, that injury a couple of years ago that um, sidelined him. A little bit it took him a little time to get ready and come back on this roster on this Mets team. But in 2020, you see what Michael Conforto can do. He figured out that if he didn't watch too much video of himself swinging and just see the ball and hit the ball, he'd done really great things. And I think Michael Conforto is just going to be an all star type player for this Mets team. Obviously, you know. He can be. He's going to be a free agent after 2021. Hopefully, the Mets can extend him. That would be a great thing. But Michael Conforto, you know, is sneakily, sneaky good at in right field. I think he's very solid. He made some great catches over the last couple of years. In 2019, that catch he made uh, in 2019 against Washington was really amazing. In 2020, when he went against the wall, made a great catch. It's just really nice to see Michael Conforto getting recognized throughout baseball and not just to Met fans because we know about Michael Conforto. We're just waiting for him to go to that next level. And I think 2020, we just started the progress to that elite level. And I think that's why the Mets will extend Michael Conforto. So Michael Conforto on MLB's top 100 players is ranked number 34. 
Next, above Michael Conforto, is the star shortstop of the New York Mets, Francisco Lindor. As you all know, Francisco Lindor was acquired with, along with Carlos Carrasco from the Indians for Ahmed Rosario and Jimenez and a prospect. This was a move that was surprising. Nobody really talked about it very much. And then it just happened. The New York Mets acquired Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco. Now, when it comes to Francisco Lindor, he is one of the top shortstops in the game defensively. A great fielder. He's young. He is a type of guy you want to build this organization around. And there is no doubt in my mind that the New York Mets will extend Francisco Lindor. Offensively, he is an awesome, elite offensive player. There is no doubt in my mind. I know we struggled in 2020, but I do feel Francisco Lindor is ready to explode for this Mets team. And it's so nice to see that the Mets can have a top five player in this game on the Mets roster. We don't see, we haven't seen that in a long time. And it's really great to see the Mets made a a really good move here. The trade was shocking, but it shows that the new regime and the new era of Mets baseball is here with that trade. It shows that the Mets are willing to do things and extending Lindor just shows that the Mets are in that new era of Mets baseball. So Francisco Lindor, the New York Mets star shortstop, ranked 15th in MLB Network's top 100 players. And the last guy on this list for the Mets, way up up at the top of the list, is none other than Cy Young Award, two-time Cy Young Award winner, Jacob DeGrom, the GOAT, ranked number three in MLB Network's top 100 players. Now, there's so much to say about Jacob DeGrom. He is modest. He's confident, but doesn't show up anybody, but is a confident pitcher. Every time he goes out to to the mound, he expects to dominate. Met fans expect him. Every time he goes out, it's a W. That's just how we feel when DeGrom is on the mound. He is the ace of the staff. He is the best pitcher in baseball. There is no doubt about it. I don't care what anybody says. You can bring up any name, especially a guy in New York that people talked about, Garrett Cole. He is not Jacob DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom is the best in baseball. He is the GOAT. Jacob DeGrom, two-time Cy Young Award winner. And I have a really good feeling he's going to win his third this year. You can mock my words you can come back at me on the comments. Jacob DeGrom will be the 2022 NL Cy Young Award winner. Mark my words, guys. As you know, Jacob DeGrom is the ace of his staff. He is perfectly situated on this MLB Network's top 100 players at number three. I respect the hell out of him. I just feel that it is time for the Mets to give this guy the opportunity again, like in 2015, to put him on the national spotlight when it comes to the playoffs, World Series. This guy needs more recognition. He don't get enough recognition around baseball. You know, people talk about him a little bit, but you know what? If you you just search on any social media platform about National Major League Baseball news, Jacob deGrom hardly ever comes up. Unless you're sitting here in New York and watching New York media or looking at social media when it comes to regards of the the New York Mets beat reporters or New York beat reporters. Jacob DeGrom needs to be nationally known in Major League Baseball. And the only way to do that is not just to win a Cy Young, but for this Mets team to get to that next level and consistently be in the playoffs. That's where he gets his recognition, where he can shine in the biggest moment. And that's what I want for Jacob DeGrom and the New York Mets. So this was the Mets on MLB Network's top 100 players. Seven players on the New York Mets were in the top 100. And the best news about this list is that six of the seven players 
are homegrown. homegrown. Jacob DeGrom, Michael Conforto, Jeff McNeil, Pete Alonzo, Dominic Smith, and Brandon Nimmo. That is my video, guys, about MLB Network's Top 100 Players, New York Mets Edition. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button, everybody. And if you enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get notifications when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, don't forget, hit on that subscribe button, guys. Let's get the 500 subscribers. Let's go beyond that and get the 1,000 subscribers. Big things are happening with this channel, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, let's go Mets.